Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham and today I'm joined by John Wellborn, who's Chairman of Fenix Resources. Uh, so now, John, you've been very, very busy with Fenix at the moment, shipping out quite a lot of iron ore from your Iron Ridge project um, in WA. Um, it, yeah, you just released a pretty healthy quarterly. Can you just um, give us a bit of an idea what's been going on? Very exciting times and very busy times for Phoenix, Wally. I don't know what's more exciting though, Phoenix's numbers in our quarterly or you not wearing a hat. Um, <laughs> but good to see you, mate. And thanks for the opportunity to talk about uh, what's been a great quarter and a very exciting time and busy time, as you say. Uh, we uh, have just put out our quarterly and our C1 costs are down by more than 5% below $80 FOB Geraldton. So that's a really great result for our teams across our mine. Uh, the haulage operations, wholly owned, and also our port uh, services at Geraldton. So we continue to ship at uh, 1.3 million tonnes per annum uh, and making very good cash flow in the current iron ore price environment. Uh, now, John, it's just an amazing thing with Phoenix because um, like you exist, and I'm not too sure people know you exist now because everybody knows that there's lots of iron ore gets shipped out by uh, some of the big guys. But um, you're doing exactly the same thing and you're doing it in just as a, um, a healthy way. Well, we've unlocked one of the many, many stranded high-grade iron ore deposits in the Midwest. People, as you say, the big iron ore producers are predominantly in the Pilbara, uh, out of Port Hedland and other ports. Uh, the Midwest, though, has been a potentially hugely productive area for Western Australia in iron ore for decades. Uh, and Phoenix has, uh, we're monetizing the Iron Ridge ore body. It's 500 kilometres from Geraldton, hence why our uh, haulage operations are so important, um, important. But we're really excited about the opportunity to continue unlocking the other stranded iron ore deposits in the region, as well as uh, providing logistics for a whole range of commodities in the Midwest. Well, all that's going to uh, happen. You're going to be able to do that now that you've also picked up the um, the, the um, assets from Mount Gibson, which included Port and a few other um, uh, assets. Yeah, talk us through what, what was in that asset package and um, how is that going to de develop the project? Well, Phoenix recently uh, celebrated our three millionth tonne, having got in production during 2021. Uh, and uh, consistent run rate. Mount Gibson have produced 50 million tonnes of iron ore in the Midwest over the last 20 years or so. Uh, they're now focused up north on Kulin Island, uh, and that's allowed Phoenix to acquire their Midwest assets, and that includes the Shine Iron Ore Mine. It's got a resource of 15 million tonnes of iron ore, similar scale to Iron Ridge, uh, and also two rail sidings, one at Riverdini and one at Peringery, that gives us access to... Uh, a much higher volume potential uh, to rail bulk commodity into the port of Geraldton, where we've acquired two very large on-wharf storage sheds. Uh, shed 4, which has a capacity of 120,000 tonnes, and Shed 5, which is massive, has 240,000 tonnes of capacity. To put that in context, we're currently using uh, a shed that has 80,000 tonnes of capacity to do our 1.3 million tonnes from uh, Iron Ridge. So we now have a significantly enlarged port facility and we uh, are now going to work to use that to unlock value in the Midwest. All right. So, and, and does that, so how does it sort of uh, contribute to uh, the, the Midwest itself? You know, not only Phoenix are going to benefit from it, uh, but other people as well? Look, you know, if you draw a six or 700 kilometre circle around Geraldton, you capture literally hundreds of projects. I'm not talking about exploration potential. I'm talking about known jork resources, known reserves, uh, and projects in feasibility study stage across a whole range of commodities. Obviously, iron ore, manganese, potash, uh, lithium, spodumene, titanium, base metals, garnet, talc, uh, high purity silica sands, rare earths. You name it, Wally, the Midwest has got someone working on it. All of those projects need to find a export solution. This is why in the last year's state budget, the Western Australian government allocated $350 million to upgrade the port of Geraldton. Uh, and a key part of that is increasing the potential for bulk commodity exports. Uh, we want to be a part of that. We want to be a, uh, increase our iron ore exports for our own benefit. And we also want to do a similar um, uh, advantage that we've done for Iron Ridge with others, all of those other commodities, to help them with their haulage logistics, their rail logistics, 
and their port logistics and the infrastructure that we've acquired from Mount Gibson gives us a fantastic platform to build that business. Yeah, I, I think it's there's there's two things to think about with Phoenix, our existing operations, and we've been paying very strong dividends on the back of strong cash flows from Iron Ridge. But the second one that I think you know should really interest investors is is putting together the pieces of what's happening, you know, whether it's in the strategic metal place uh, and or the um, developing projects in the Midwest, and then you know looking at how they are going to get access to market. Not all of those projects will get, will get up, but some of them will. And the ones that do will need to haul their product or rail their product into Geraldton Port and then have appropriate storage facilities and loading facilities. Um, we're demonstrating that we're incredibly efficient with the production from Iron Ridge in relation to haulage, port storage and port loading. And we want to expand that with our own iron ore operations. We now have Shine, which we'll look to commission, and we're looking at other opportunities where we can increase iron ore production. Uh, and then also look to assist and service uh, other commodity producers, iron ore and a whole range of other ones in terms of their ability to access the market. And yeah, I do think that's a very exciting opportunity. And uh, the, the, the Midwest is waking up. Anyone who's in and around Geraldton and looks at the employment activity uh, the, uh, uh, and the investment that's going into the region um, should be very interested in Phoenix. Well, John, every time we catch up with you and we catch up with Phoenix, there's always something happening and there's always something to look forward to. So you've left us with that again. So uh, all well and good. I uh, can't wait till the next time we sit down and have a chat. But until then, thanks for popping by. It's always great to uh, have a chat and uh, yeah, we look, look forward to catching up again soon. Stay tuned, Wally. There's more to come from Phoenix.